If you're looking for a modern twist on that classic modification, well then you'll want to check out the MP Concepts rear window louvers that we have here for the 2011 and newer chargers. Now this extremely popular option will combine a one piece molded ABS plastic build along with that gloss black finish for right around 250 bucks. Install of the rear louver is gonna get a pretty soft one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. I would say take an hour at absolute most from start to finish, but if you hang with me for a bit, we'll walk you through the job later in the video. So rear window louvers like this are easily one of those love it or hate it modifications that tend to appeal more to the charger owners who want to evoke that classic muscle car styling of the late 60s and 70s. Now, seeing as though Dodge has really made efforts to retain portions of that retro vibe or styling with the newer cars, I would say they actually work really well and help nail that old school look. Now, with all that being said, the MP Concepts option that we have here on the table today, again, in my opinion, a little bit more of a modern take on that classic design, thanks to the more angular lines of the piece, which again, I think works great on the newer cars because they are a bit more angular. Now, if you did prefer more of the OG flat straight aluminum panel look, well, we do have a few options back on the site that stick to more of the original recipe. So as always, feel free to check out the rest of our selection back at AM before pulling the trigger. But with all that out of the way, let's take a closer look at what you're getting with the MP Concepts right out of the box, guys. And you are gonna find the durable injection molded ABS plastic one piece design, which to me personally, I like the one piece designs on these rear louvers because typically they're gonna move around a lot less uh, compared to a bolt together option. And it's certainly gonna help make the install a much easier process as well. Now this particular option, as you guys can see here, does feature a really sharp gloss black finish with I think helps contribute to a more modern look. But if you do prefer a matte black vibe, which is gonna be a little bit more old school, well, you can grab that here on the site as well for a few bucks less. But guys, going back to what I said earlier, this is a very popular option on the site. You're looking at well over 104 and five star reviews with a ton of corresponding customer submitted images, which is always a great way to get a better idea of how this might look on your own ride at home. Now, finally guys, MP does toss in all of the necessary mounting plates with the 3M tape needed for the installation. Speaking of which, this is one of those installs that will really only be as good as your prep work. And what I mean by that is, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you take your time, clean that back window thoroughly first, using your alcohol prep pads and then using that adhesion promoter just to ensure a nice secure bond. Trust me guys, it will go a long way. And now to give you a better idea of just what to expect with this install, check out our detailed walkthrough now. Tools used for this install, microfiber towel, quick detailer, quarter inch drive ratchet, eight millimeter socket. Now that we got our louvers out on our table, I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that came in the kit. We have some double face tape here. We have some metal brackets with some eight millimeter nuts on. These are gonna be on the bottom of our louvers then. And some primer adhesive uh, uh, inhibitor that's going to, we're gonna use that on the bottom of the strips to make this stick better on our car. And some alcohol wipes to clean the glass and to clean the surfaces of the metal brackets. So well, let's get started. We're gonna start putting our adhesive tape on our metal brackets. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our alcohol wipe. I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna clean the back of our brackets. Just make sure that we get all the stuff off of whatever's there from the factory. Then we're gonna take our two-faced double-sided tape. We're gonna remove the tan side and let the red side face up. And we're gonna install that onto our bracket like that. And we're not gonna pull the red stuff off yet because we're gonna put this onto our louver. Now you're gonna repeat this 10 more times. We're gonna install our louvers or our plates onto our louvers just like this. I'm just gonna snug them for now because we're gonna remove this once we get it onto the car. Now you're gonna repeat this process 10 more times. So now that we have our plates on our louvers, I'm gonna remove this red covering over the two-face tape. And in our kit, they give us an activator. This activator, you're gonna be able to brush onto this side that's gonna to adhere to the glass. 
gonna help with the adhesion of it to the glass. On our vehicle, I'm actually not gonna put it on because we're gonna be removing this, but I'm gonna show you how it's done. We're just gonna remove the red film, take the brush out, and you're gonna just want to brush this stuff on here just like that. Once you get that done, it'll really make that sticky and you'll be ready to put your louvers onto your windshield. Now you're gonna repeat that around the rest of the brackets. Now we're gonna take our alcohol swab in our kit. We're gonna go around about an inch or two up on our window and clean it just so that our double-sided tape sticks. Now you're gonna to wanna to repeat this on the other side. Now we're ready to install our louvers. Now we're gonna install our louvers. It helps if you get an extra set of hands. I got Joe here, he's gonna help me line it up on the windshield and we're gonna put it on our vehicle. Now you're just gonna put a little pressure just to get them so it sticks a little bit. Now that we got our louvers on, what you're gonna do next once you went around and pushed down on everything, we're gonna start removing our eight millimeter nuts. That way we can remove our louvers and press down on our metal brackets. So now that I got all my eight millimeter nuts off, I'm gonna remove our louvers and then press down on our brackets and then reinstall our louvers. Now that we got our louvers off, what you're gonna to wanna to do is press onto your brackets to secure this to the window. So I'm just gonna give them a rub and push down. And you're just gonna to wanna to repeat this all the way around the window. Now that I have all my brackets pressed down, I'm gonna reinstall my louvers. Now I'll reinstall our eight millimeter nuts. Now I'm gonna take my eight millimeter socket and my quarter inch drive ratchet and I'm just gonna lightly snug the nuts, you don't want to go too far because it's just a thin piece of metal with a little stud welded to it. And you're going to want to repeat this procedure all the way around the louvers. Last thing we're going to do is install these pieces of foam that they give us in the kit. Now these pieces of foam are going to go under the louvers in the center and you're just gonna push them in and then the 3M adhesive is going to stick to the underside. And what that's gonna do is when you're doing 75 or 80 mile an hour down the highway, this thing's not gonna rattle and shake. So we're just gonna remove that part, push it under his, in the center, push down on it a little bit, and that holds it in place. We're gonna repeat that all the way up the louvers. That wraps up this review and install of our MP Concepts rear window louvers and gloss black. Thanks for watching, and for all things chargers, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.